Hi, I'm Maria Lim. Welcome back to Path to Tomorrow. Karena Besok Pasti Ada Jalan. Today, I want to share about the art of problem solving. When you encounter a problem, what is the first reaction? Most people would point fingers. Most people will say, oh, it's your fault. But what is the art of problem solving? When a problem has really occurred, the key is to find resolution. How do we resolve a problem? It is not about pointing fingers anymore. It's not about who is right and who is wrong. When a problem occurs, it does not matter who is right and who is wrong. At that moment, the key is in finding a solution. When you put your heads together, when everybody put their head together, they can come up with a solution. In everything, there is a solution. When every problem, there's a resolution. We have to find how to resolve it in the quickest time possible. And after you have resolved the problem, then everybody who's involved in the case sit down for post-mortem. Look at the chronological happening of the thing and identify at which point the problem occurs. Even in this time, it's not about pointing fingers, it's not about killing another person, it's about learning. The key is not about making mistakes. The key is not about the problem. The key is in learning. In learning from your mistake. Because if you cannot learn from your mistake, the problem will occur again. If you start pointing fingers, the problem will come back. Because you're not learning. You're not recognizing and not taking responsibility. But when we identify who is at fault at certain point of the situation, that is the time when everybody learns including the person who makes the mistake learn that they will not make the same mistake again. And that is important because everybody can learn from another person's mistake. But if the person do not recognize that it is their problem, the mistake will continue. So we have to take responsibility, we have to be accountable, and we have to learn together. You know, in life, it's a journey of learning, continuous learning. There will be problems. It's not a problem-free world. There will be mistakes made because we're all human. Things can go wrong. 101 things can go wrong in any situation. But it is important that we learn from our mistakes. We learn from history. We learn to move on. We learn to forgive. We learn to be patient with one another. We learn to hold each other's hand, pick up another person when they fall down, and move together, and walk together. Because together, we are strong. We are united, we can go very far. And that's the key to any success. It's not about making the mistake, it's not about the problem. It's about resolving it, it's about moving on, it's about learning from it. To give you an example, if you're in a boat and the boat is sinking, and if everybody starts pointing fingers at the captain, at the sailor, at the passenger, everybody is going to drown because nobody is doing anything about the situation. But if everybody come together as a team, start throwing off cargo, start throwing off things off the ship, they can save the ship, they can save the life of everybody. So it's important one person point finger can damage the whole ship. We do not allow that to happen because we are all human. We do make mistakes. And your colleagues may make a mistake. Instead of pointing finger, help him. Come together, resolve the issue. Help him to get past the problem. Find a solution. Together, you can make the difference. You can help another person. Pick him up and help him move on. And if you see another person pointing finger at another colleague or another friend, you have to stop that. You have to stop it from spreading. This is important for all of us to grow. What if somebody point a finger at you and say it's your fault? Even though it's not your fault, what would you do? It boils down to how much you value this relationship. If you value this relationship enough, it's easy just to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The word I'm sorry doesn't cost you anything, but it can melt anything. So you just say, I'm sorry, can we resolve this together? 
can we find a solution to resolve this? And if that person refuses, you go back again. I'm sorry, will you forgive me? Can we resolve it? If you continue to refuse, you continue to ask. Persistence is key in mending a relationship. We have to put away our pride. Sometimes we have a need to be right, but that need is not necessary if there's love. If you value that relationship, your need to be right is not important. It's how much you value that relationship. So you need to be persistent in resolving an issue. An issue has to be resolved. Because if it's not resolved, it can snowball into something so big that you cannot contain it one day. In conclusion, never leave a problem unsolved because a small problem can lead to a major issue in life. So stay strong, stay strong and be in love with everybody around you. Karana Besok Pasti Ada Jalan.